Hello, Jess 2 Film here. Everybody's been talking about this Megan movie or Mithrigan, and my friends wanted to see it, so I was like, I'll join along. It was getting some good reviews, but I wasn't particularly hyped for it. And yeah, the movie kind of sucked. I have so many problems with this movie. First off, the fact that it's rated PG-13 when it's trying to be this horror movie, the actual execution, I mean, quite literally and figuratively, of the scares are so neutered. <laughs> it feels like they'll cut away before they show some gore, they won't even show the gore or like the actual actions. The action scenes themselves are horribly shot that I couldn't even tell what's going on. And then you just see maybe some blood drip and then maybe a weapon covered in blood, which wouldn't even make sense because when it's in the other scene, it doesn't even have the blood on it. It's so lame, it, it scares. So that's one thing. And I mean, it's not impossible for a PG-13 horror movie to be good. I mean, Drag Me to Hell is PG-13 and I really like that movie. And second thing is the characters suck. They're, these are just stock characters. I won't say it was totally like uh, the movie I saw before this, which was Don't Worry Darling, where there's nothing to them, but there's so little to them and not really any interesting commentary in what they're doing with these characters. And the performances are pretty lackluster to just straight up awful. Like the child performance leading this is just terrible. It's, it's, it's a terrible role. You can't get any emotion out of that. So the film tries to play it up for some laughs randomly. And the film is trying to take a horror comedy stance in some scenes, but then takes itself too seriously with some of its emotional stuff. And the emotional stuff doesn't work because the actors suck and the writing sucks. So it's like... And I mean, James Wan apparently is one of the writers of this film. I mean, I didn't like Malignant either, but I do love that original Saw movie. So I don't know, but this was really, really lame. The most notable things for me are a recreation in its opening scene of a commercial. Uh, I don't want to say... I mean, I guess saying that is actually kind of something, but uh, I'll say like they did everything very good in that commercial, except like they name dropped YouTube and I'm like, a commercial wouldn't do that. But other everything else was like, okay, I'll give it props. Then it's followed by this horrible, horrible intro scene where everything that is like the, the area around it looks green screened as heck. It's horribly shot and it's like, okay, yeah, this is what we're starting off with. Okay, great. <laughs> so even when you have a great recreation in the opening of this commercial, it's followed by this horrible, horrible scene that's just like, yeah, this is lame as heck. The, another thing that I got to note is that um, they use uh, toy soldiers in one part. And I'm like, okay, that's that. I like that. And I was like, that's a, that's a good Eminem song. And I'm like, oh wait, Eminem sampled another song? What? <laughs> and then another thing is that they had the Apollo Lunar Lander what is it, 2019 uh, Lego set. So that was kind of cool to see that in the, in the corner on the shelf. <laughs> is it flat out terribly shot throughout? For the most part, like I said, the action really sucks. It'll randomly get into this ugly, ugly, shaky cam. Um, and then when they do have these steady shots with, which do comprise the movie, it's lacking any visual taste. Kind of reminded me of like the menu in that regard where it, it could look decent, but it just, there's nothing to it. There's no personality and it's like, okay. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say with Mithrigan. A lot of it felt like trailer bait where they'll put a wacky thing in the trailer and I hear people talking about the trailers and it's like, oh, that's just literally a random scene from the movie that doesn't even make too much sense in context to get people in and it just feels lame in that regard. I will say though, as held back as this film feels for the most part, they actually had the guts to kill a kid in one scene. I was like, okay. I mean, the kill could have been a lot more interesting just by what preceded it and the kill was a bit of a convenience, but you know, some movies don't do that and they hold back. And I'm like, I'm amazed they did that in this PG-13 movie. Some people said that there's like an R-rated cut coming out on like streaming or something. I don't know, I'm not gonna check that out. They should have put that as the actual thing they put in the movies. It feels like they just went the cheap way as in, oh, we can make more money. So let's not even put too much effort into the actual gore or horror itself because we might scare away the kitties and here's some silly stuff in the trailer that doesn't really play too much into the overall, I guess, composition of the movie. So yeah, I, the three out of 10, this was awful. This was awful. Bad movie, bad movie, sorry. And <laughs> if you liked Mithrigan, that's totally okay because everybody has their own movie opinions, you know? And at the end of the day, we're talking about a movie. It's not like the most important thing in the world, you know? And it's, it's just all comes down to taste. Personally, I didn't like it but let me know in the comments. what did you like about Mithrigan if you saw it? What did you not like? What do you agree and disagree with this review? Subscribe for more film reviews and whatnot, and I'll see you later. Peace out.